Hi everyone, Laura at Broken Wind with the next instalment on Violet. So my last video was sanding and sanding and a little bit of shaping and more sanding and since then I've done more sanding. <laughs> I've decided that I need to move things around in here, make space somehow and invest in a bobbin sander because my gosh, it's painful, painful, painful process. Don't get me wrong, there is a nice therapeutic side to doing that. It's quite satisfying when you're getting up in the higher grades and you can really start to see the progress happening with sanding. And you can just switch your brain off or on, as the case may be, and just sand away. But oh my word, need a break from it. So I am going to do a bit of shaping on her ears, mix it up for myself before I do more sanding. Beautiful pair of luggles. Quite pleased with that. Still, obviously, got yet more sanding to do, but the shape's there. Can you see right there? Or maybe on an angle, that might be better. There we go. Yep. She might be able to hear me now. I've been talking to her all this time, never got a reply. <laughs> oh gosh, I think I'm getting delirious. An hour and a half in a face mask. It's midnight again. Covered in sawdust. Na no, night. No. So I thought I'd tackle one eye at a time just in case it didn't go to plan then I could rectify my mistakes when doing the next one <laughs> in worst case she'd end up looking like Pudsy Bear but I think I'm kind of pleased with Mark 1 yet more sanding to do and the different stains will add depth and texture there as well and there will be more shaping coming around this bit but as an eye, quite pleased. Good evening everybody. You joined me about to do a bit more shaping on Violet's face and I thought I would set the tone for tonight's work by drinking this. Proper job. <laughs> Can but hope, but cheers. Right, I am going to do a bit of shaping on her face got my eyes now quite pleased with those they're not exactly symmetrical but let's be honest who of us has got exactly symmetrical eyes um, but I'm really happy with that I want to do some shaping in here around the nose but before I do that to make sure I'm not messing around with any of this gubbins I'm gonna put the bridge and the pickup in get the little nose plate right get all that sorted where I need it and then go from there with my shaping so let's probably have a little mini preview here of what it's actually going to look like so kind of excited we'll uh, see how we go so I'm getting her mouth and her nose in I haven't done my holes in my little nose bit yet, so I need a good opportunity to mark those out as well in my plate. But we can have an idea. Oh, take that screw out. Two sec. Put 
it away before you lose it. I hear you cry. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh. Right. So, nose in. Mouth on. Nose on. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Violet. Hang on, let's have a proper little preview. In for a penny, in for a pound, let's see what. Oh, yeah! Check it out! It's <laughs> an actual cow guitar! Oh. oh, I'm excited by this. Yes! Although it has just dawned on me on my way into the workshop that tomorrow's October. So much to do and not much time to do it, but oh, this is exciting. Go on, right, crack on, crack on. Okay, right. A slight change of plan on the scheduled works. Nose plate just broke. Ah! Just when I realised how much time I was lacking in. Let's do something again, but oh well, lesson learned. Don't do that. So, time for a new nose and more beer, and then we'll get onto face shaping. So, new day, new nose, and I think this mug says it all, really. <laughs> Let's get shaping. progress that I'm making with the nose plate I just thought I'd show you as I've learned a couple of things while doing this so this is using the stunning stains um, black obviously and um, before doing any form of oil on it and the stunning stains is really lovely easy to use but what I've found is it really highlights any form of blemish that you might have on the wood so I noticed that I had some file marks that I'd either just been lazy with my sanding or just missed due to short sightedness and tiredness, I don't know, but um, I had to sort of sand it back and get rid of those again and then really concentrate on getting through the grades of sanding and finish and then now you can see it's really quite nice and lovely to work with so when you do it right so it's made me realize how accurate i need to be on the body of violet before getting excited to stain her so lessons learnt. so i'm just going to take a quick minute while i think of it um to reply to a few comments i've had on various different videos about the name of my company yes my channel is called broken wind yes my company is called broken wind Every innuendo and pun you can think of is fully intended with full humour behind it. I started my company about 12 years ago now um, in my parents garage when I still lived at home and it's grown since then thankfully and pleased to say business is doing well. And when I first started thinking of, of names for the company I decided I didn't want to have my name in, in the title of it. I didn't want to have um, various things that sounded a bit more like a garage, like the workbench or that kind of thing. And um, anything I thought of like instrument wise it ended up sounding like a pub, like the crumpled horn or the bugle something, I can't think now. Um, and then I just randomly came out with Broken Wind and my mum and I were laughing at the time, we're like, you can't register a company called Broken Wind. Turns out, you can, and I did. So, yes, it is a little bit rude. Yes, it means it's very memorable. But it technically says what I do. I fix broken wind instruments, so broken wind is what I do. And it made sure that anyone who remembers it has a little cheeky grin on their faces when they do. So, double win for me. So, yes, it's called Broken Wind. I'm loving the comments about it and um, keep sharing the broken wind love. Have a look on my Facebook page 
Um, unfortunately, I don't have Instagram as yet. Um, it's a whole other thing of trying to fit that in around everything else at the moment, but I couldn't not call my YouTube channel Broken Wind as well as it is for my company. So yes, um, fully intended and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks guys. I'm at 240 grit now. I uh, still want to do a bit more, but happy with the way she's going. Lovely and smooth. Uh, see smooth. <laughs> Sorry, couldn't resist. Um, and I'm just having a little moment's break um, before the next bit um, just have a cup of tea as I have just learnt that when you're lovingly delivered a nice hot cup of tea which if anyone else is a parent will realise that's a rarity that you get to have a hot cup of tea that you've not had to make yourself but leave off and drink it straight away don't keep sanding because otherwise <laughs> you get a lovely film of added flavour let's call it Anyway, still enjoying it, not going to complain, very lovely. Um, so actually what I think I might do before I keep sanding further is add a little detail to her bottom. Um, so I know a lot of people have their signatures or they do signature inlays and that kind of thing. Um, but one thing I do um, as part of my company, Broken Wind, um, the instruments that are written off and you can no longer fix all the uneconomical to repair. I make into furniture, so I've made various items. Um, I have a double base I've made into a TV stand for my house. Um, I've made lights out of trombones, saxophones, clarinets, pretty much everything. Door stops. Um, what else have I done? Lots of various different things. Um, tables out of bass drums. I've got a lot of bass drums waiting to be made into tables. I have a whole store of them. Um, anyway, with all those different bits that I create and make, um, I brand them and I have a company branding iron, old school, heat it up with a flame, can you see there? Um, and what could be more appropriate than putting that on the bum of a cow? Um, to be fair, I don't think I've ever seen a branded Jersey cow, but doesn't matter, poetic license. Um, and it'd be good to get my broken wind on her bum so I think I'm going to do that now before sanding further because um, I'll need to buff up the actual branding once it's done so let's crack on and set fire to stuff. One branded bum. There we go, it needs a bit of sanding. There's a couple of bits um, didn't quite go as deep as the others because of the curvature of her bum. The branding iron is obviously square and she isn't, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that at all. And hopefully once the oil is applied, that'll pop out even more. And um, if anything, these little bits will make it a bit more realistic to her being a cow. So, yeah, ta da! She is officially a broken wind cow. Just finishing the edit of this video, and I thought I might as well give you a little snippet of some of the furniture that I make. This is my TV stand. Please excuse the toy box and the dog bed, but you get the idea. Um, yeah, so that's what I do with instruments that are no longer economical to repair. So, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like it, share it. And if you really like things, uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys, see you soon.